What do you anticipate your emotions are going to be Saturday with your final home game? I, you know, I don't know. You, it's one of those things that when it comes, you kind of all feel it all then because it's, it's weird to imagine that. The defense, how proud are you of this unit that's kind of carried this team this season? You've had very few bad games from the defense. No, I'm, I'm really proud of the defense and all the guys. More importantly, I'm proud of just the resilience and whatnot. You know, there's definitely things that we've been working on this whole year that we're still still working on, but at the same time, you know, we love we love all of our guys, you know, defense and offense, but since we work so much with the defense, it's just, you'd love to see guys succeed. What do you feel like you've learned from your career? The biggest thing I think I've learned is that you can do whatever you want if you believe in yourself. You know, and if you believe you can do it, then you can get yourself in the position to do it. Have the agents started calling and putting out feelings for you at all? Or, I mean, this is kind of the time when that starts happening. You know, you know, there's a little bit here and there, but you know, I'm not allowed to talk to them really until after. Yeah. But there's a little couple things here, a couple things there that you hear about. You kind of feel bad because I'm like, I can't say it. I'm like, you know, I'm not trying to ghost anyone. but <laughs> I just wondered if it started to pick yeah. up. A little bit. How do you feel your play has elevated you in the eyes of NFL guys? You know, I think, at least from what I've, you know, it's hard to take because I, I don't know what their minds are like, but I always just, you know, hear from people that have been there and whatnot, like this, this, and this. And I think for myself, there's definitely a lot of things I wish I could have gone back and done a little differently. But at the same time, I, I'm trying to put, I'm putting myself in a position where I hope they can see all the things that I have to offer, you know. You have to combat your height, you think? Yes and no. Sometimes I love it. Okay. You know, it's it's great for a lot of things, but it definitely it has a couple drawbacks that you just have to learn to live with. And so it's been a good season of trying to fit that in. What challenges do you expect this Saturday from New Mexico State? You know, I think for them, this is just like their formations on offense. As a, as a defense player on offense, they're going to do a lot more of ten personnel, which is something that you know every team has, but. It's not their main go-to. You know, a lot of pe- people are in 11 or 12 personnel, and then 10 personnel is you know maybe 20 percent of the game. But from what we see, that's about 70 percent of the game. That's the personnel that they're in, and so making sure that we're ready for what they have out of that package is going to be big for us. What do you guys? What is the defense going to be like next year? As far as who? What's the mm-hmm. talent level of these guys that are not graduating? Oh, we have a ton of talent. You know, I love I love seeing the young guys, and I'm like I cannot. Like, it's sad that I have to leave, but at the same time, I'm excited to see what these guys do because after you get a taste of it, you know, I have a lot of young guys that have gotten a little bit of playing time, and then that's when you're actually able to see what you can do in the offseason. You know, you've played a little bit, and you know, okay, this is what I can work on, so I'm excited for them.